Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial. In this video, let's take a look how you can create a custom slider of images into your WordPress.com first website. So if you don't have an account, if you don't have a website, it's really easy to do that. Actually, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description. You might be getting uh, free rewards just by signing up. So once you do have an account, it's gonna be appearing here, the home section. So here into the home section, I assume that you've already created a website. So once you do have the website, you can start to design your site. So if I go into the edit side, it's going to be sending me right away into the editor of the WordPress. And I can see different tools that are going to be helping me to start editing my WordPress. So we hit into skip for now. Here is my design my template actually because I actually didn't do anything. So what I want to focus on only is into adding some plugins or let's say for example applications inside the WordPress. So if I go into the plus button that appears in here, what I do want to focus on is into all the patterns of the blocks that are using here. So instead of looking for the slider, I want to go into the search bar and hit into slider. So here into this slider, I want to choose the image compare. This is how it's going to be looking, the image compare, or I can choose the slideshow. So I can hit in here. And what I can do is just to drag and drop like this. So here's the image before, here's the image after. If you do want to add something like that, this is like for just for the image compare and the slideshow is going to be a appearing like this. So here into the slideshow, I want to drag some images. I want to select my images. I want to choose some media library and I want to choose these three images. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit into enter. So here I do have the image slider and really easy, right? To add the slider. And after that, you want to go into this, um, this pencil little piece in here. If you want to more add more stuff, you can add more URLs. Even you can add a URL, it's going to be appearing in here. Now, if I choose these three dots, what I can do is to show me more settings about this light show so I can try to edit my specific light show because I think this will look really easy or really basic, right? So here into the effects, I can try to use some transition effects, for example, fade. So if I choose fade, it's going to be looking like this. I'm gonna think I'm gonna stick around with the slide. Here into the band tools, I have multiple classes with spaces if I want to add something like that. I do have the autoplay and it's gonna be a delay of three seconds. I'm gonna hit of two seconds, one and two and change. So that's how it's gonna be looking. If I choose the X button now, I can go back into my website. Now there's another way that you can do this if you want to create like something much more advanced and much more easier. Uh, easier, I'm not pretty sure, but much advanced, yes. So first of all, I'm going to hit into save. Save once again. And we already have this uh, saved it. Now what I want to do is to go into the WordPress once again. And if I go in here, I do want to focus into the patterns. I'm gonna hit into the plus button once again, and here into the blocks. Here we do have different uh, sources that we can add. We do have widgets, and here into the widgets, you can look for the slider, or what I can do is to look once again into the search bar and look for the slide. So here I do have post carousel, a carousel post, the slide show, this light show that we just created and the image compare. So if I once again just drag and drop, here is the post title, like this. So I just need to go into the three dots, show me more settings, and I can add the slider aspect radio. So as you can see, I do have the different options to edit into this slider. It's gonna be looking much better than this one, cause, and here choose a specific post. So we're gonna go into post, begin typing post title, for example, click it autocomplete resource to select. So I'm gonna hit post number one, and there we go. 
slideshow settings and when to hit of course 16.9 if you only want to focus into um, let's say only for computers desktops if you only want for a website for mobile hit into 916 or 34 or 101 or 43 if you want to focus into both of them so then you want to auto play this and here is the show category you want to post types you go for post it and here into the band section you want to add csc right away so in here actually i do have these images that uh, I think it's for my internet because of my internet, but here this is like something more advanced with more advanced tools. Uh, I want to go back into Canva Gigs once again into the home section actually of my website. So if I locate the plugin section that appears in here, these plugins are like applications that are created from WordPress and some users that do have this. Uh, this access so here into the e-commerce e search bar that appears in here I want to look once again for slide So if I click into slide, I have different options that I can add into my store. So I want to look for um, sort of applications plugins that they do have a lot of stars and of course they have a free option So as you can see it says requires a plan upgrade requires a plan upgrade so I want to focus only to the one that appears as free. So if I don't see anyone, let's see if we can filter that uh, into the upper side. I think we cannot do that. But what I can do is to still look for something that says totally for free without requiring a plan upgrade. For example, this one, the Jetpack. So go into install the application. For example, this one, hit into upgrade inactive. In our case, I don't want to focus in there because this one is not for free. But if you do want to pay for that, I mean, it's something that I think for for me, it's not really worthy because all of these applications uh, are like you have to pay. If you have, of course, a plan inside WordPress, all of these applications are actually really for free. You don't have to worry about that. So I can have the free advantage to select whatever I want to do with all the great stars like this one and I can go into upgrade inactive so I can choose once again the current application that I want to upgrade the plan choosing to upgrade and I'm just good to go if you don't want to focus like that if you don't want to do uh, this payment you don't have to be worrying about that because I just told you I just showed you how we can do this totally for free with different ways inside your website inside your template that you already created into WordPress but if you do want to do this like more in a more easy way and you can afford an application like this one then be my guest and do the upgrade you can accept that and you don't have to do anything that we just created uh, down before so hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more information about this great WordPress application. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and I will see you on the next one.